my captains, and welcome to Soul Horoscope's Weekly Edition. I'm your host to the universe, Christopher Wateki. Nice to see you back here, Captain. And this week, our sponsor is the Guardian Agency. For those I watch over, I've got a new feature I'm rolling out called Psychic Wateks. These are designed to target at a specific time where we are naturally psychic. So what I'm trying to do is get you to start to realize the moments you're psychic, and I ask you a question. Basically, whatever question I ask, you just give the first answer that comes to your mind and write it down. You don't have to reply if you don't want to, but write it down. It's gonna develop you over the week. Also developing you, soulgarden.me. Consider your Facebook away from Facebook, where you can develop your soul. We are all in the garden. We are all working uh, on helping the captains be there. We have our Queen Mary, who is also our captain rider. You'll see her work all over. Right now she's talking about a particular celebrity Capricorn that has recently passed away. So come on and talk about that. It's all the talk. It's a formal monkey, by the way, if you don't know. And at the same time, we've got a full staff here to support you in this garden. We've got office hours. We've got live chat. We've got what we call the love lounge. So check it out. Let At least get a profile so we can email you when we want to. Now, where are the captains this month? Well, you are working on your Pisces energy, which for you is your intellectual state of awareness. You are looking to think outside your own box, and this is a blessing for Capricorns to be a little bit more lubricated in their thoughts, a little bit more open to spontaneous intuition, not so regimented to certain ways of logic and thinking. It's going to do the whole world justice. And Neptune is there to really help Capricorns raise up to the vibration and become telepathic. That's right. With Neptune in the sector of your state of awareness, you can begin to become telepathic. You can begin to receive information from others. You already do. You probably just don't pay attention to it. So it's one of the interesting parts of the transit. Now, through the weekend and over the weekend, we had what I call a holy shift. It was really so many planets in action. That actually continues. We've got a second holy shift coming up on March 14th, and we'll be working up to that this week. When we start off on Monday, the sun is ruled by Venus, so it's time to respond restore balance and tranquility to thoughts and communication. If you found that you went into some sort of an argument with someone or you got into a situation where there's verbal warfare, which I guess you would call an argument, <laughs> maybe legal, uh, this is a day on Monday to make apologies, to make amends, to try to smooth things out. If you got into your own uh, brain warfare and mind games, this is a day to bring peace back to your mind, to bring peace back to your intellectual state of awareness. Great day for actually uh, meditating if you can. Now, emotions will probably be a little vulnerable. The moon will be in Leo, so your emotions will be focused on trust, intimacy, boundaries, and whatnot. So in a way, you'll be set up for a mind game, but I think Venus ruling the day will be nice and calm. The other interesting thing is major shift in awareness. Mercury conjuncting Uranus in Aries. What does that mean for the captains? It means maybe a paradigm shift, a real holy moly moment when it comes to how you need to treat yourself. Realizing that you need some sort of self-nurturing that you hadn't thought of. A real break, uh, breakthrough. Or maybe you identify Flying a pattern that goes back to childhood, but a real holy moly moment that's related to your comfort in life that will come as well on Monday. So Monday's going to be an interesting day. Uh, on Tuesday, Tuesday is a Neptune day. So Tuesday is a day where you all kind of zone out, we all meditate. This will be a day where I'll start setting out those psychic with text, by the way, because it's a day where it's a good day to test your intuition with Neptune rules. And for you, your mind is very spacey. Good day to do some automatic writing or any kind of creative writing if that's part of what you do as a messenger on the planet, by the way, on Tuesday. Notice I bring up this grand trine. This is going to get tighter and tighter and tighter, leading up to the second holy shift I was talking about on March 14th. Venus is on approach. This is part of what is going to happen. This energy is in Taurus. That is the inner child of Capricorn. So there's a ticking, creative, fascinating bomb that's going to slowly tick to that day of that holy shift. On that particular holy shift day, Capricorns are shifting on the path of their inner child on what they want and what their heart desires. What's your job now? To get your mind on your team. Okay? So on Tuesday, it's an intuitive day. It's a day of finding things. This chord is starting to be struck. The moon is still in Leo, so you're feeling a little vulnerable. Now, if you need a little help. I want to remind you, we have office hours in the garden at 11 a.m. on Pacific, uh, Pacific. That's 9 a.m. Honolulu all the way. I'm not going to do the math around the world, but come on down. If you have a webcam, our practitioners will answer one question for five minutes as our courtesy to you. Come on down. Now, on Wednesday, this is a, a climactic day. Why a full moon? The moon will now move into Virgo. It will become full. Of course, the full moon is a tug of war on the sun with the earth in the center. In the case of, uh, you, uh, in the case of you, it is a tug of war between your thoughts and your beliefs. Your thoughts and your beliefs, okay? So the moon shifts into Virgo. It's focused on your beliefs. It is focused on 
what you think should be and the way it ought to be, and this is what you were raised to think, and yada, yada, yada. All that is going on. And either that is convincing you to let go of thoughts, or maybe you've come to a new attitude where you want to stay happy, and it's the opposite. The opposite is that, you know what, I don't believe in that anymore, because at the end of the day, I'm always depressed if I fall into that religion, or I'm always, my mind is never happy. So it could go either way and or both ways. With Mars retrograde, it does mean that Capricorns are going to be taking back steps, backpedaling on what they said they believed. It's okay. You don't have to go on record till Mars goes forward again, but you are backpedaling. So it's really possible that you end up changing what you believe in the full moon more than anything. But on that day, you will come to a decision. You will come to clarity. Either you'll be confirmed and affirmed that you have the right attitude, or it'll be very clear you need to decide and find a new attitude. One of the two is that, uh, that pivot point on the full moon on Wednesday. On Thursday, we waste no time. It's go time. Mars rolls a day. That means let's go for it. So whatever that attitude decision was, you employ it immediately in your next day. So you put it in the language of all of your emails. You put it in your text message language. This new attitude needs to start and beta test it and give it a try. Maybe you go out there. If your issue with communication this month is not like attitude, but more putting yourself out there or speaking up or one of those other ways it can manifest, then you do that on this particular day. <clears throat> Um, at the same time, the moon is still full technically, so you're still very righteous and full of yourself. It's just not in direct opposition. <laughs> so uh, if anything, both sides of you get on your side and wants to move forward on this particular day. Also, if you need help, don't forget, Thursdays is the other day. We do office hours at the same time, SG Prime Time, 11 a.m. Pacific Time. Come check it out if you need help on that day. Then on Friday, Friday is a hold space and manifestation day. That's a good thing. The moon will be shifting in two. It's moving on into Libra now, which is going to move your emotions out of theory, out of righteousness, and into career. So on Friday, you finally get serious about your career. You get serious about your leg legacy, your emotions sharp, and focus on that. There's no ruling planet, which means you're just holding space. You're trying to keep that new attitude in in play for one more day. That's what you want to do on Friday. Keep it in play for one more day. Uh, and the moon in uh, Libra, it will probably have you practicing that attitude uh, in your career issues and whatnot. Don't forget, if you want to learn more about your psychic abilities, Carol and Engel and I have SG Live on Fridays. We were talking about psychic development last week, Edgar Casey this week. Well, surprises, how to develop yours. So come on down. And if you can't make it in the primetime hour, well, we do record these shows. You can watch them over the weekend. It's a fun time. Then on Saturday and on the weekend, this is really sliding into home base with the lessons. Uh, you might be challenged on Saturday if there's going to be a day of challenge. Really, that's because the moon will cross over Saturn. So what that is, is during the course of the day, you're going to feel responsible or take responsibility for a career decision or an emotion around career. So maybe you got to let go of your past failures and just not hold on to the baggage. That could be one way you do it. It could be another way for you to like step up and be responsible. Maybe you've been a baby the whole time, but there's responsibility. Basically, the universe is giving you a taste of your own medicine. In Saturn. This is what it's like when a, when a Capricorn tells you you've done something wrong. <laughs> That's how you will feel on Saturday. Hey, we all feel all the energies in the day. Um, also, at the same time, this is opposing the Jupiter Taurus issue, which is your inner child wanting to do what she wants to do or what he wants to do. So there's a little bit of a pull between the inner child wanting what it wants. Here's the good news you're going to get what you want. There's a lot of energy focused on the inner child. You probably have to grow up in your career energy in order to get what your inner child wants. So that's what Saturday's about, and it's an emotional day on Saturday. Saturday because the moon is ruling the day. Sunday things do perk up. The moon moves into Scorpio, so really it's a social day for the Capricorns on Sunday. Sunday's the best day for a Capricorn to be relaxed, so you might want to go and spend some time with a friend. You're going to be social. Moon will be in Scorpio, and Jupiter's ruling the day, so Sunday's a very optimistic day. It's going to be a bright day. Now, by the way, if you purchased an Act 1 video, go back and watch the end of the video. This is the next holy shift I was talking about, where all the planets come to a perfect 999 degree. You just can't write this stuff and dive deep before next week because next week is when it all comes to a head. I want you prepared if you've got the Act 1 video. Definitely watch at the end of the video. Okay, well that's all I have now, Captain, for this uh, particular forecast. I'll be seeing you in the text or I'll be seeing you live on the air or chatting with you in a chat room or I'll see you in seven days. But either way, live, love, be. Love.